Many San Diego veterans are now weighing in on the shooting in Thousand Oaks. Our 10 News reporter Rena Nakano attended the 2018 Veterans Forum in Escondido and shares how service members and their loved ones can heal from PTSD. I just can relate so much to what you both talked about. There's not a tighter knit sister and brotherhood than the United States military. Many at the 2018 Veterans Forum woke up to the news of the mass shooting in Thousand Oaks, horrified that the shooter was one of them. He was a Marine, right? San Diego County Supervisor Bill Horn is a proud Vietnam veteran. I did go through 14 years of nightmares. Horn admits the idea of PTSD didn't exist when he returned stateside. You say, there's nothing wrong with me, I'm fine, but you're really not. We're learning that the bar shooter was a 28-year-old Marine Corps veteran who may have suffered from PTSD. A mental health team came to his home in April, but close friends say his outbursts continued. It requires constant introspection. Navy veteran Dr. Lou Lee is a psychiatrist with experience in trauma-focused therapy. He says the most difficult thing about PTSD is admitting to it. It's a sign of acknowledging one's uh, vulnerability, and it's hard to come to that realization. He says support is key. If you are a veteran who received help for PTSD, suggest the same. If you're a civilian, find a common motivator, like family or children, to guide them through the pain. It's in the therapy that one begins to understand it is not my fault. It is the best I could have done in this situation. One of the takeaway messages for veterans from today's event is good or bad, you are not alone. I can relate to somebody having that trauma. Don't let one event, one moment define you because we're not perfect. I have something to give and I am worthwhile and that uh, I am not alone. Rena Nakano, 10 News.